In this video, we're going to build a checkout flow for a single product. In my case, a box of chocolates from my candy store that I've already set up in Stripe. We're going to use a tool in our docs, the Integration Builder, to download example code, and in just a couple minutes, we'll be up and running with a checkout integration. Let's get started. I'm going to start by going into the Account Settings section of my dashboard and confirming the business information my customers will see. This is found in the Public Business Information section. You can see I have my business name set, as well as my support and contact information. I'm also going to go over to the email settings on my account and confirm I'm set up to send email receipts to customers when they make a purchase. In my product listings, I've already created a listing for the box of chocolates I'm going to sell. Now to get started quickly on my app, I'm going to use Stripe's Integration Builder. This is a tool in our docs that will give me a fully working example of a Stripe checkout integration. I can get to the Integration Builder by going to the Docs, clicking on Payments, and then selecting the Accept a Payment Online option. For this example, I'm going to be using Ruby for my server integration and HTML for the client. So in the Integration Builder, I want to make sure I have both of these selected. Since I'm still logged into my Stripe account, the Integration Builder prompts me to select a product. Now when I download the example app, the code will include both my API key as well as the product ID for my product. Let's take a look at what's in the download. We have a public directory with a CSS file and three HTML files. From Stripe Checkout, the customer will be redirected to either the Success or Cancel page, depending on whether they made a purchase. Our Checkout HTML page is where the customer will preview their order. Let's take a look at this. We can see there is some HTML to display a product, but it's showing the example product, not ours. So I'm going to update the image link as well as the product information. Right below the product div, we can see a Submit button that, when clicked, calls the server route, Create Checkout Session. Let's take a look at that now in server.rb. We have two gems we're dependent on, Sinatra and Stripe Ruby. You can also see my test secret key is already set here. That's because I was logged into my account when I downloaded the code from the Integration Builder. If this isn't set to your key, you'll need to update it. Our server has just one route at the moment, the one we saw referenced in checkout.html, Create Checkout Session. This route makes a call to the Stripe API to create a checkout session object, which controls what the customer will see on the payment page. Now, there are a lot of different parameters you can include in a session create call, but for this example, we're going to keep it very simple and just use the required parameters. The first of these is the line items array. You use this parameter to define a list of items the customer will purchase. In this case, we're passing just one item, and the Integration Builder has already populated the array with a hash containing a price parameter set to our price ID and a quantity of 1. We also need to set the mode parameter on the Checkout Session object. This tells Checkout what kind of payment transaction we'll be making. This is set to Payment here because the customer is making a one-time purchase of our product. But mode could be set to something else if we had a different pricing model. For example, if we wanted to charge customers later or set up recurring payments. The last thing we need to specify in the create call are the URLs Stripe will redirect our customer to from the checkout page. These are set to the success and cancel pages in our app. Once the checkout session has been created, we're going to return a response that tells the browser to redirect to the newly created session URL. Let's go back to the terminal, type bundle install to install our dependencies, and fire up our server. We can try things out by visiting our order preview page at localhost 4242 checkout.html. When we click on the checkout button here, we're taken to Stripe Checkout. I can see my product information and I can enter a test card to complete the purchase. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to visit our docs and other videos to learn more about what you can do with Checkout.